Happy Coffee Monday. It is Monday morning. It's about 7.34. I got up about 7 o'clock. I would have my coffee with me, but I'm gonna be waiting until I'm at work to make some. I'm supposed to be making breakfast right now, but my brother got up a lot earlier than he usually does, and so he's down there making breakfast right now. I'm upstairs in my room. It, it should be a good day. It's freezing outside. It was like under 40 degrees when I woke up this morning here in Lynchburg. Not looking forward to going around outside, but that's why I'm thankful that I have all indoor jobs. Gonna be dressing very warm today. This is not everything that I'm be wearing. I got some black jeans on and I'm wearing slippers right now because I woke up and I felt cold and I was like, why is it every Monday morning and it feels freezing? It's the same temperature as I was super warm. And so that's what's going on today. I'll be updating you guys a little bit later. Just wanted to catch up with you all. Say hi. Good afternoon. It's almost four o'clock here in Lynchburg. I just got back from work. Stopped by the mailbox and got my water bill out. Thank God, because that's what I'm looking forward to when I get home from work. Let's see. what. Uh, it started off feeling like a Monday, but then things got better and just it, it became super chill almost to the point where like you felt like falling asleep. It was quite not much for interaction outside of my own department or anything. Everybody feels it, but mine's a little bit different being that I work in IT and I don't know how many people in IT watch me or anything, but if you are in IT, then I want to hear about your day. Like on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the most chill, lazy day, 10 being the most chaotic, I need a beer afterwards type deal like on an average what does your day look like so if you work in IT or anything like I'm gonna open that up to whatever industry I want to hear what your day is like on an average because this could be a very interesting I'd, I'd love to know what it's like working in other industries and stuff because I've worked in a couple different ones in retail IT travel transportation movie theaters sales I've worked in all kinds of stuff food restaurants as far as like which one is the most fun probably the one with the most people involved it depends on which kind of interaction you're talking about here if you're gonna go with people being involved because you think IT no there's no way there's not a lot of people involved it's just you and a computer and there's really not like you get a lot more human interaction than you think in IT that's just how it is I can't really pick like what's the most fun industry that I've been in because it all depends on who you work for obviously my favorite employer so far has been Walt Disney World the Walt Disney Company I did transportation with them and it was fun but sorry about that I'm gonna be taking a short nap hopefully I'll get a little bit of editing done and I'm gonna clean up downstairs and stuff before we get to the gym Meg is babysitting right now so we're gonna be going to the gym a little bit later and I'm waiting for my brother to get home from I guess landscaping or something like that so I'll be catching you guys a little bit later What's going on guys? Just got back from the gym. I was watching Shark Tank. I don't have my protein shake right now because I'm going to shower first, but I finished some Chipotle. Kind of leftovers from the other night because I'm in Lynchburg and I guess hopefully we're not affected by the uh, E. coli thing that happened over in the northwest, I guess, or all over the west coast. I'm not sure exactly the whole region of Chipotles that were affected by that, but I know that a lot of people have been very watchful of that and have completely even stopped eating from any Chipotle in like California and Oregon especially in Washington, but gonna be going to Megan's house in a while. We were worried that Mulan's tail had been broken. Her her dog that you guys have seen before, the, the little Yorkie that has been featured sometimes in my videos, because I guess like she was kind of acting a little bit down or a little bit tired or like unenergized. So Megan was asking her dad, who's a veterinarian, like what's going on, can you check her out? So this, this is when she was up in New Jersey just this past weekend. You know, he asked her, are you roughhousing with her at home? She's like, no. And so she asked, maybe it's because uh, like last time I was in the car with them, Mulan was acting really crazy, like just uh, jumping all over the place in my arms and stuff and like wiggling a lot. So I started playing with her and like doing this type of thing with her and stuff, not like shaking her up or anything, I was just kind of spinning around and stuff. She almost fell out of my hands when I caught her and so her paw kind of hit the thing but I was like her tail didn't do anything, like she was wiggling her tail after I had finished playing with her and so I was like it, it couldn't have been that. But she brought her back, her tail is wagging just fine and everything and so a little scared but we avoided any really bad situation or anything like that so that was a good thing so I worked shoulders tonight and arms and abs and stuff so I'm like <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna shower and then get a protein shake and then I'm gonna head over and call it a night so I might catch you guys later but if not good night